Um, this is Ben for Ben, and these are my week 17 NFL game predictions. Obviously, I'm recording this as Thursday night football is going on. I watched the first half of this game, and then I remembered I totally forgot to record this video. So <laughs> I came upstairs to record this for you guys. Um, obviously, the Cowboys have already won this game over the Titans. Um, that was my prediction. Titans, without their star players, they don't have Malik Willis or Ryan Tannehill. I think their quarterback is a guy named Joshua Dobbs. I've used him in Madden a couple times, and, like, I've actually heard of him. But Derrick Henry is also out. Um, this was a pretty easy win for the Cowboys when the Titans did not have some of their star players. But moving on to the Sunday games, starting off with the Cardinals versus the Falcons. Um, this is going to be a pretty weird matchup with two very, very bad teams. Obviously, neither of these teams really have a passing attack, um, but I'm going to choose the Cardinals. I don't think Desmond Ritter, Desmond Ritter is ready to get a win yet. I don't think he has one yet in his career. I just think that James Conner will kind of take this Falcons team um, and have a very good game because the Falcons can't really stop the run, and I think James Conner will take advantage of that. And obviously, the Cardinals have a much better defense than the Falcons do. So overall, I think the Cardinals are just a better team, even though they have the worst record. Right here, the Bears versus the Lions. I'm going to take the Bears. Um, I am completely biased. I have so many friends who are Lions fans. A lot of my friends' parents and them are from Detroit, even though I live in Chicago. I feel like most of my friends are like Lions and Packers fans, even though I do live in Chicago and I'm a big Bears fan. But I'm going to take the Bears. The Bears are on an eight-game losing streak, but I think we're going to snap it this week. Matt Eberflus, who is the coach of the Bears, if you didn't know that, has said the Bears will not be benching Justin Fields, even though I don't think we have any reason to keep him in, given the fact that we um, have no chance of winning the division, no chance of winning anything this year. But I'm going to take the Bears to win. I think the Lions' defense, who is just atrocious, will not be able to handle the Fields, Montgomery, Kerber rushing attack. I think Fields will be able to have a pretty decent game passing, and I think he'll just light the Lions up. It's going to be a definitely a high-scoring game. With the Lions' offense, who's been pretty good over the past few weeks, obviously getting in contention for the wild-card spot, I think they are going to come and score a lot of points against the Bears' defense, who just can't stop the run. But overall, I think the Bears are going to win this one in a close one. It's definitely going to be high-scoring, but I have the Bears coming out just on top. In this one, I know I picked against the Texans last week, and they ended up surprisingly beating the Titans. But this one, the Jaguars are definitely going to win. Trevor Lawrence has been breaking out recently. He's been so, so good. I think he's having an awesome game against this horrible, horrible Texans defense. This is one that is not going to be close. It's going to be a huge blowout. Moving on to the Broncos-Chiefs game. Last week, the Broncos lost by around 40 points to the to the Rams, giving up about 50-something points. I think it was 51, 52 points. Um, this week, it is going to be no different. They have fired Nathaniel Hackett. It's going to be their first week with a new coach. They're doing nothing this year. I would like to see Russell Wilson do better without Nathaniel Hackett, but they are definitely not coming out with a win against this overpowered Chiefs team, who I think is my favorite to win the Super Bowl. Next up is the Dolphins versus the Patriots. This one, even though the Dolphins are coming off a loss and they haven't been as hot as they were earlier in the season, I'm definitely choosing this them to win this game. I think it's a division rivalry, and it is. But I'm choosing them to win this game. It should be a pretty close one. Two decent, really good offenses. I think the Dolphins have a little bit better of an offense. Um, the Patriots defense should Hold up a fight, but overall, I think that Jalen Waddle Tyree Kill combo is going to be too much for the Patriots to stop. And the Dolphins will take this one big. Moving on, we have the Colts versus the Giants. With Jonathan Taylor out for the year, he was kind of the only weapon that the Colts had on offense. I don't think they're going to be able to win any more games this season, especially against a Giants team who's been pretty good this season. Um, they're one of the teams who nobody really thought would be good and ended up doing really great. So the Giants, I am going to take this one. Definitely 
winning big over the Colts. In this matchup, we have the Saints versus the Eagles. Whether Jalen Hurts plays or not, I think the Eagles will win this game. Andy Dalton and the Saints offense shouldn't be good enough to beat this Eagles team with their overpowered defense. Even though they're coming off a loss, they have one of the best defenses in the league. And if Gardner Minshew even has a performance as close as he did last week against the Cowboys, even though they came home with a loss, the Eagles team should win this matchup big. Next up, another very close matchup. We have the Panthers versus the Buccaneers. In this one, I'm going to take the Panthers. Obviously, the Buccaneers offense hasn't been able to do anything. And I really, really like how the Panthers have looked. Even after losing McCaffrey, I think it might have even looked better. Um, I just really love watching the Panthers team play. They just win games. And I think they're going to sniff out a close one against the Buccaneers. Next up, Browns versus the Commanders. The Browns with a very good passing defense, I think will be able to stop Taylor Heineke. I don't think Terry McLaurin will have the best game. Obviously, he'll still do some stuff, probably have a couple deep receptions, given he is one of the best deep threat wide receivers in the league. Although, I don't think the commanders will score over, like, 15, not 15, over, like, 17 points. I don't think I see them getting anywhere over that against this Browns defense. And I could see Deshaun Watson with Nick Chubb having a pretty good game this week. Um, obviously, Deshaun coming off of his suspension has not been good, hasn't shown that he is ready to play in the NFL again. Hasn't shown that he's like coming, he's back off his three-year break, still a little bit rusty. Um, but given that, I still think that the Browns will come away on top of this game. Next up, the 49ers versus the Raiders. The 49ers have Brock Purdy um, as their starting QB. Obviously that's not the best, but Derek Carr has been benched this week. For some young player, I don't even know who. The Raiders are definitely not winning this game. Should not even be close. The 49ers are definitely going to take this one. Definitely not going to be close. The 49ers are going to come out on top. This is a matchup that I'm actually pretty interested to talk about. I did not know these two teams were playing. It is the Jets versus the Seahawks. Obviously, both these teams are teams who people thought would be very, very bad this season. And it ended up being good. For the Jets, Mike White is back. They've only lost one game with him as their starting QB. And the Seahawks have definitely pulled down. Kenneth Walker pulling down, I don't think their offense will be as dominant against the Jets defense that has really shined this year. I think the Jets offense will, with Mike White, will be able to score just enough. I think it should be a low-scoring game, two good defenses, two good offenses as well. But I think this should be a low-scoring game, and I see the Jets coming out by three. Next, we have the Vikings versus the Packers. The Vikings better win this game. The Packers cannot make the playoffs. As a Bears fan, I hate the Packers. I really hope they don't win this game or make it to the playoffs. Um, the Vikings, Justin Jefferson, is the offensive player of the year. He is so good. Um, obviously, Jair Alexander will be guarding him. He is one of the best corners in the league. I had him um, on the team for my building the best NFL team with um, the best NFL players from every position. He was on that one. Make sure to check out that video if you haven't seen it. But back to this game, the Vikings will definitely, definitely win this one. I think Dalvin Cook, Kirk Cousins, Justin Jefferson, that offense will be too much for a Packers defense. Hasn't been as good. And I don't think that Aaron Rodgers will do enough to keep up with all of the scoring the Vikings offense will put up in this game. This one... Right here, I'm going to take the Chargers. I think they're just the better team this year over the Rams in pretty much every single position. Um, there's really not a lot to explain. Both these teams are coming off big wins, but I just think the Chargers are going to win this game and continue their push to become a playoff team. Monday Night Football, we have the Steelers versus the Ravens. I'm going to take an upset of this one. I'm going with the Steelers. Lamar Jackson still isn't back. The Ravens offense, I did vote against them last week as well. But the Steelers offense coming off a win, Kenny Pickett has showed that he can play well in the clutch. 
I'm going to pick the Steelers team. I think it's going to be a close game, just like the Raiders one was last week. I'm picking the Steelers again. I think it's going to be a very, very close game, but I think Kenny Pickett will be able to lead them out on top with the Steelers defense doing a very, very good job stopping Tyler Huntley and this Ravens offense. I could see Cameron Hayward having a sack. I could see TJ Watt having a few sacks. Minka Patrick. Minka Fitzpatrick with an interception, maybe. But I do think the Steelers will come out on top in this game. Moving on to Monday Night Football. This is a very, very good matchup. The Bengals versus the Bills, the two teams with the B names. In this one, I'm going with the Bills. I think the Bills are just probably the better team. They've been so overpowered all year. Um, I obviously think that Josh Allen and Joe Shiesty will both have very, very good games. Um, overall, I just think the Bills team will do better. They will be able to get Stephon Diggs involved. Gabe Davis will be involved. Dawson Knox will be involved. Um, as they showed last week against the Bears, they're able to get their running attack involved with Devin Singletary, and they also have Naeem Hines. I just think that that Bills offense will be way too much for the Bengals to handle, and I definitely see them coming out on top in this game. Those are my NFL Week 17 game picks. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. If you did, you probably enjoyed it. So leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for Ben. Out.